Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Kripe Man. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to uh, put some graffiti on this nice clean wall here. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into our texture room and let's jump into the texture and it's just a very basic uh, color gradient uh, times the brick as a driver. Now before we get started on this part of it, uh, let, me sh let me show you a little something here that's a really helpful thing uh, that I just found out. Now you notice whenever you um, maneuver in here by using your E or your W or any of your other uh, camera move commands when you try and zoom back in to where you're at and you have a small window it doesn't exactly want to well actually it snapped into place there but if you have trouble getting close to your object what you can do is make your window bigger and uh, you have more precise control oh, you have more precise control it doesn't jump nearly as much. You can also make your object bigger and do this too, but um, yeah, while you're in the texture room and you're having problems, you can just do that and then make your window small again. Now let's get some, some graffiti on this thing. Uh, we got color gradient and we got brick. And that happens in your layers list. And normally you'll gravitate toward this top part right here where your hair shader, multi-channel, da 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 is. Um, yeah, uh, but what you don't normally do is come down here where the plus is, and that's uh, where your basic layer, oval layer, polygon, da 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 da. And these are kind of cryptic. You uh, you can drop these in here, but what are they going to do? Well, let's go ahead and drop a rectangle layer in here, and see where this line is. This is what this is what has happened. Let's uh, let's find a new master shader. Let's make this red. Actually, uh, let's go ahead and drop this in. Oh, shoot. Let's go ahead and drop this in there. Uh, let's drop it right onto our rectangle layer. And this is what's happened. No, it's not going to show it. This is what's happened. Uh, you've got graffiti all over the place but that's not really what you want you want to be able to have uh, precise control over where your graffiti goes so let's jump back in here lose this rectangle layer real quick and you'll you have these icons up here these little these little icons up right up here are very powerful and uh, you know there is they're pretty cryptic too uh, your rectangle polygon and circle layers let's go ahead and take a, a rectangle and let's draw it in here and if, I don't know if you can see that really good but as you draw your rectangle out well, it's not doing it now as you draw your rectangle out if you're farther away it'll it'll jack it up more but you can have precise control over where that image goes let's check this out see that you have more precise control over it and see where we put it there let's move that around a little bit now one thing about this little area right here it's its own little world uh, you you move your layer around by just kind of shifting it with this little pointer here I'm gonna move that up just a little bit now let's see what we got now there we go sometimes it takes a while for uh, OpenGL to kick in but see we have that right there and we can put it pretty much where we want to on there we're just gonna leave it right there for the moment now it looks cool as as what it is looks cool as it is but we want oh duh let's uh, check out this now you notice when I've only made one instance of this but there are four probably more I bet if I stretch this out though it'll probably be all over the place on here what it does is it it maps itself completely over your model. You can uh, rectify this by um, you can rectify this by changing your rectangle layer into uh, I think it's flat mapping and then pick your face or you can just um, reassign this texture right here by just making it a different texture new shading domain wall 
and then making a completely different texture for that. But we're just going to go ahead and leave this like it is. Um, see that? And you notice that uh, our, our image flipped around here too. It has a tendency to do that. But not to worry, that's what these little manipulation tools are for. You can flip it back like this and you're good to go. Now, uh, this little black area around here, that's not cool. We don't like that. So I have another, I have another uh, shader loaded up and it's just a black and white texture or black and white texture driven by a color driver which is going to make our white areas the color. The black areas get cut away because I left them in the alpha channel. Okay, So uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and copy this. Copy this, jump back into our wall and then paste it where the texture map is and there you go. We'll have to flip it around again, no problem. And this little thing that where the walls, where this other side disappear, that that happened by accident. That didn't hasn't happened when I was testing this out. So um, that was a happy accident. It doesn't happen all the time. Don't get frustrated if it doesn't. Uh, let's make this texture map a color gradient. Let's go from black. We don't have to do this, but this is a good way to color our color our graffiti. All right, now we have this here and this here. That's cool. Now let's copy this. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. And all the way down at the bottom is the only place that you'll see this is opacity mask. That's going to cut away our black areas. Well, let me just show you. Let's paste it here. Let's see what we got. Move in, move in, render, and there you go. Now we have nice, easy graffiti. You notice that the the black areas are gone. It's the color of the it's it's the it's the color of the gradient that we put in. Let's take this just a little further. Uh, jump back in here. An interesting thing about this is uh, the texture that you dropped in here, once you've dropped it in here, it becomes part of this little world right here. Uh, any manipulation that you do is, on, is going to happen to this, but it's not going to happen to the, to the texture that you left here. So if you need to do, rework it or whatever, you can do that. Let's go into our color gradient, and let's go ahead and drag our black all the way down. And do it to 99 see if that helps yeah there you go and it kind of eats into it a little bit see that now you have little black smudges in there and you can you, you can work that out a little bit in Photoshop too if you need to or uh, yeah and th that's a that's a good thing this this whole thing right here is a is a good way to get graffiti on your walls uh, to get uh, to hang a poster to put a postage stamp on, to put battle damage, whatever it is that you want to do with this, that's what that little, if you want to add a little extra character to your shader, you can do it uh, via adding this other layer in here. So, yeah, um, before I go, I, I just wanted to say that um, uh, my, my little YouTube channel has a uh, has uh, has reached over 300 subscribers, and uh, I want to I want to tell you guys how much I appreciate you guys checking out my channel, and uh, you know gleaning some information from it. Uh, that I have 300 people checking this out, and it's, you know, I'm just a little bit humbled, and I just wanted to say you know thanks. So uh, yeah, uh, keep playing with this. It's a very cool. Um, way to get your uh, images to do exactly what you want them to do. So anyway, uh, that's it for this time. I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.